Hello everyone, I am Khanam and this is my 13th video in React series. In our previous video, we have seen how to do internal styling, how to import CSS file from different folders and from same folder. Okay, this is what we have learned in our previous tutorial. And also we have seen how to import CSS files. And also we have seen, we are just assuming that it is an object and we are just passing this key value pairs. And in this tutorial, we are going to practice whatever we have learned till now. Now in this tutorial, we are going to make this simple project. You can see I have one image which is rotating. I have this heading. I have this container. In this tutorial, we will see how to do this one and we are going to practice whatever we have learned till now in CSS. Now inside index.js, first I'll be importing this react. Import react from react. We have to import two modules react and react dom. I'll just import react dom here. Import react dom from react dom now here i have to render that one react dom dot render and this will take two arguments first what should be displayed i'll just write here h1 and inside this i'll just give here uh, practice program practice program 3 and below this i'll just separate with comma and below this i'll be writing where it should be displayed that is nothing but document dot get element by id and i'll just give my id name that is root which is present inside index.html i'll save this now if i just refresh this one react dom is not defined okay i'll just give here in capital letters react dom i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see i'm getting this output practice program 3 okay now we are going to do the styling here so i'll just remove this entire thing and here i'll be writing this syntactic sugar form and inside this i'll just create one diff i'll create one diff and for this diff okay i have not told about this class in html we used to write like this class and we used to pass some class name i'll just give my class name as container but when we are using in react we have to use class name i'll just write one uh, text here i'll just save this now if I just refresh this one, I am getting this output here. But if I inspect this one, you can see here in I am getting this warning in my console invalid DOM property class. Did you mean class name? We have to use this class name. Okay. Instead of using this class, okay, because class is a keyword, class is reserved word in React. So we are going to use this class name. Okay, instead of writing like this, we have to write like this class name. Okay, in suggestions, you will be having this class name here. You have to write like this. I'll just remove this and here I'll be creating one more div. I'll give the class name as cart inside this div. First, I have H1. I'll just give here practice practice program three because we have already seen our practice program one and two what we have learned till now. I'll give image and inside this SRC. I'll just come to this pixels free stock images. I'll just click on this first link. And here I'll be searching for nature. And from here you will be having many images copy any one of them. I have used this one in my project. Now here I'm just going to select another one. I'll just copy this one. And here I'll be pasting that link. Okay, inside art we have already seen about JSX attributes. I'll just write here nature. I'll save this. Now if I just refresh my project, you can see here that warning will go and this you can ignore this one. But here if you see here, I'll be getting this image and also I have this heading as my output. Okay, now we are going to style this one and we will see how to import our CSS file. Okay, I'll be writing the code inside my index.css. And here first I'll just give the, I'll just copy the class name from here. I'll just copy this class and here I'll be pasting that class. Okay, I'll go little faster because we are not going to see about uh, CSS. I'll just give with as 100%. I'll also give display to be flex so that my container will come in the middle. I'll be giving justify content to be center and also I'll be giving align items to be center and I'll give height. Okay, so that my container will come in the middle height. I'll be giving 100 view height. It should take complete whatever it's visible that it should take complete 100%. Now, if you see here, if I refresh this one, you can see it's not working because I have not imported my CSS file. Now, inside index.js, I'm just going to import that file, import, and I have to import like this, index, 
dot css you have to write this extension i'll save this now you can see here if i just refresh this one you can see my container has come in the middle and i have this output now next i'll be styling my cart for this i'll just give the width width i'll be giving 30 percentage i'll just give 30 percentage i'll be giving background color background color i'll just give black i'll be giving one more property padding i'll give 3m and also i'll be giving box shadow for this box shadow i'll just give zero horizontal zero vertical three pixel spread and four pixel blur i'll just give green color i'll save this now you can see here the background color is been applied but because of my image it's not looking good now we are going to style our image and h2 first i'll just style my h1 heading tab for this i'll just give text align to be center i'll just give here text align text align i'll just give center i'll be changing the color color i'll be giving white and also i want to give margin margin from top i don't need anything left and right i don't need anything bottom i'll just give 1.5 m and also i'll give text decoration text decoration to be line underline i'll be giving text decoration underline i'll just style my image now for my image i'll just give width width i'll be giving 20 percentage i'll just give 30 percentage i'll save this now okay i have my h1 here i have this image here i'll just increase the width of my image i'll just give 50 percentage i'll save this now if i refresh my image which has been increased now i want my image in the middle by default our images are inline elements to bring my image in the middle first i'll be giving margin zero auto okay for inline elements we can't apply margin so i'll be changing its display property display i'll be giving as block now you can see my image has come in the middle now i want to rotate my image so i'll be using animation here animation i'll give my animation name as rotating i'll give the duration as 4 seconds and also i'll be giving the speed as linear and i want it to run infinite time so i'll just give infinite loop here i'll just copy this and once we are, once we are writing this animation property we have to define keyframes here i'll just write at keyframes I'll be pasting my animation name and inside this first for zero percentage for zero percentage first i'll be giving this transform rotate zero percentage uh, not percentage zero degree and here i'll be giving for hundred percentage i'll just copy this one here i'll be pasting that one instead of zero degree i want it to rotate completely so i'll be giving 360 degree i'll save this now you can see here my image is rotating i have this container which is having the background color as black i have box shadow green i have my heading which is having the color white okay this is how we are going to apply styles in react okay we have already seen how to do internal stylings when we are doing internal stylings we just have to assume that we are using an object and if we are using javascript inside our jsx elements we have to wrap that inside curly braces okay if i just write here i'll just copy this container and here if i define container i'll just write here const and i'll be uh, instead of i'll be i'll just give the colors to my card i'll just give here card and now we have to assume it is an object so we should be wrapping inside curly braces here i'll just give background color i'm just going to change background color okay we have to use kebab case here i'll just write here background color background color i'll be giving um, red we have to separate using comma here okay and we have to close either using single quotes or double quotes i have this card now this is javascript we are assuming that it is an object which means that now this card is inside javascript now if we want to use javascript inside our jsx element we just have to write this style attribute and we have to paste that one okay whatever value we are having here this card this is an object now and this is having this value now if i just want to give this inside the style attribute i have to enclose in curly braces okay we have already seen how to do this one we have already seen about jsx element jsx expressions and also jsx attribute now if i just refresh this one you can see my background color is been changed now whatever background color i have given inside index.css this has been overridden by this one okay this internal stylings will be having more priority than this one so this background color is been ignored this background color black is been ignored and this red color is been taken now if i just give her pink now if i just give her pink then also this will be ignored i'll save this 
now if i just refresh this one you can see i'll be having the background color as red now if i change here if i give orange i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one you can see my background color is been changed okay this will be having more priority than this one okay we have seen what we have practiced we are just assuming that it is an object we are passing inside curly braces now instead of this if i want to pass only this value i have to copy this and instead of this card i'll be pasting that one i'll just paste that one you can see first i have this curly braces for my object that is javascript object and second curly braces is for my values you have to write like this or else you will be getting an error if i just remove one curly braces from here i'll save this you can see i'm getting this error and if i just hover on this you can see i'm getting this expected curly braces expected now here also i'll be getting an error unexpected token so we have to enclose in curly braces only then it will work i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see i'll be having this output now we have seen how to do internal styling how to import css files and we have learned and we have practiced whatever we have learned till now okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day